Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, also known as the Lake Erie Vlogger. And today we're doing a Lake Erie Ice, episode number six. I'm just on my way down to Crystal Beach uh, to see what's happening down here because last night was so windy. Well, I won't say last night, this morning. Around about five, six o'clock this morning, the winds were about 90 to 100 kilometers an hour. So it's going to be interesting to see what the ice is looking like down here. So I'm just going to spin the camera around right now so you can see as we go up the hill. And you'll get the first look of the lake, like I am, because I've not seen it since last Sunday. Oh, look at that, open water. Now, I had heard there's open water because we did have a big mild spell, um, a really rapid thaw. Oh, that is so neat. Look at the ice, the, uh, the snow blowing off the ice in the distance. Oh, that is cool. Oh, sliding down here in the ice. All right, good old snow tires. All right, let's have a quick look up here. I don't know much how we're going to see today due to the winds, but I'll get out there very shortly and show you little bits. We definitely can't get the drone up today, that is for sure. So no drone today, way too windy. Uh, the ice is pushed up in certain areas from what I can see. There's lots of open water. And uh, yeah, let's have a little look around. All right, for some reason right there, the microphone just cut out. Not sure why, uh, maybe a connection loss because it is Bluetooth. Uh, but anyway, I'm not saying much apart from just saying it's bloody windy and freezing cold. It's minus 20 degrees Celsius wind chill and uh, it's not much fun to be out here. Uh, and we're gonna try and come back later on this afternoon and hopefully the winds might die down and we'll get some more shots then. All right, we're just looking across over at Buffalo. You see the uh, winds just blowing the snow right across uh, to the west of Buffalo and to the east is completely clear. Uh, the ice boom, which is just to the right, is doing its job, holding all the ice back. So it's pretty cool. just down by the Niagara River checking it out and uh, no ice of course because the boom's holding it all back but we've got these great snow drifts which have been blown up by the wind these really strong winds it's creating a nice effect as the snow blows right over the wall uh, so I thought I'd add this bit into the video Pretty cool catcher in the uh, snow blowing over the wall with these strong the northwesterly winds we got. Creating some cool effect. Uh, some video work being done here as well, some photographs. It looks, looks really, really cool. 
Holy moly. <laughs> I really am a sucker for punishment. All right, I'm back out down at Crystal Beach again. Uh, checking out how this ice is all transforming over the last few hours. And I'm glad I came back down because it looks different than what it did this morning. Totally different. Now, most of this was all open earlier on and now it's all been blown over. Ice is more formed and big cracks of the ice have been pushed up this way. Kind of interesting. And that wind is intense. Look at that. All right, what a difference 24 hours makes. Yesterday, Saturday, we were down here and it was uh, minus nine, wind chill of minus 20. And now it's a glorious blue sky day, three degrees Celsius and it's gonna warm up to seven with some really strong winds. But uh, check, check out the lake right now. So a lot of thin ice just over there. And you've got pockets of water here uh, where the water is now starting to break through the ice. And uh, most of the ice is being shoved this way right now due to the very strong southwesterly winds we have today. I'm going to show you a couple of images from the uh, latest satellite imagery. Um, before I get to today's, I want to show you the one from February the 15th, which just shows you the ice buildup on the lake. And now I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like uh, from the latest satellite image, which was just taken a few hours ago. And you can see there's a lot more open water, a lot more thinner ice or like clear ice. And uh, the, the lake is not as frozen as it was uh, just over a week ago. As you can see from the graph that's been so, uh, provided by NOAA, uh, the ice has literally dropped drastically in the last few days due to that warm weather. And we're now below the 60% coverage. All right, it's Thursday the 24th of February. I might should get back down here again before I leave for a few days. And uh, we've had quite a, a mixed bag of weather once again, warm, cold, warm, cold. And uh, just on Tuesday, we got up to plus 10 degrees Celsius, which has actually allowed the lake to thaw out quite a lot. So we've got quite a bit of a thaw going on. Um, but over the next, come, uh, next few days, uh, we do have a lot of uh, colder weather once again. So. I think with the lake is maxed out now with its ice, I think any more ice that forms this week is going to be a very thin layer and it won't last long, especially with that sun getting stronger now as we get closer to spring. Uh, but anyway, I managed to get the drone up very quickly, so uh, here are some shots of uh, the lake. Enjoy.
Thank you.